Welcome back to our higher level IB Chemistry video series. This is the second and final video in IB Chemistry topic 18, Acids and Bases, where we will be looking at titration, indicators, salt hydrolysis and buffer solutions. In our standard level topic 8 video series, we introduce the reaction of acids and alkalis together via titration reactions, a form of neutralization. Specifically, titrations involve the addition of an alkali from a burette to an acid in a conical flask. The point at which equal numbers of moles of alkali and acid have been added to one another is known as the equivalence point. For your IB Chemistry higher level exam, you are expected to explain how the equivalence point varies based on the strength of the acid and base. There are four possible scenarios, represented graphically using pH curves. When adding a strong base to a strong acid, both fully dissociate. Thus, at equivalence point, the concentration of H plus equals OH minus and pH equals 7, assuming 25 degrees Celsius. Using the example of HCl plus NaOH, our graph would start close to 1, as HCl is a strong acid, and finish at 13, as NaOH is a strong base. Between these points, a sigmoidal shape is created. The equivalence point of pH 7 is located at the middle of the steep section. When adding a strong base to a weak acid, the weak acid partially dissociates, whereas the strong base fully dissociates. Thus, at equivalence point, the concentration of H plus is less than OH minus, and so pH is greater than 7. Using the example of CH3COOH plus NEOH, our graph would start close to 4, as ethanoic acid is a weak acid, and finish at 13, as NEOH is a strong base. The shape is identical although the equivalence point is shifted up, reflecting a pH greater than 7. When adding a weak base to a strong acid, the strong acid fully dissociates, whereas the weak base only partially dissociates. Thus, at equivalence point, the concentration of H plus is greater than OH minus, and pH is less than 7. Using the example of HCl plus ammonia, our graph would start close to 1, as hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, and finish at 10 as ammonia is a weak base. The shape is identical, although the equivalence point is shifted down, reflecting a pH less than 7. When adding a weak base to a weak acid, both partially dissociate. Therefore, the shape of the graph and pH at equivalence point is very hard to predict. Technically, if pKa is less than pKb, the acid is stronger than the alkali and pH will be less than 7, and vice versa. However, don't worry about these reactions for your exam. An exam trick sometimes used is switching the apparatus so that the acid is added from a burette to the base in a conical flask. In this situation, the equivalence point and pH do not change. However, the graph is flipped, like so. But how do we detect the equivalence point since our eyes cannot see pH? Well, this is the role of an indicator. Indicators, represented by HIN, are technically weak acids and so dissociate via the equation HIN goes to H plus plus IN minus. The unionized and ionized forms have different colors. Thus, when in the presence of an acid, when equilibrium shifts left, the HIN color is expressed more. Then in the presence of an alkali, when equilibrium shifts right, the I minus color is expressed more. Every indicator changes color over a range of roughly two pHs, known as its pH range. The midpoint of this range is always equal to the value of pKa for the indicator. There are many different types of indicators, and in the exam you must correctly choose which is required. To do this, ensure that the pH range comes within the steep part of the titration curve, since this is where the equivalence point is located, and thus where you want to observe a colour change. Although there are seven indicators in Table 22 of your data booklet, there are only three main indicators you must learn. Methyl orange, bromothymol blue, and phenolphthalein. Methyl orange is red in acid and yellow in alkali, and has a pH range of 3.1 to 4.4, making it suitable for strong acid, weak base titrations. Bromothymol blue is yellow in acid and blue in alkali, and has a pH range of 6 to 7.6, making it suitable for strong acid, strong base titrations. Phenolphthalein is colourless in acid and pink in alkali, and has a pH range of 8.3 to 10, making it suitable for weak acid strong base titrations.
There is also an indicator known as Universal Indicator, which contains a mixture of all three. It therefore has the capability to change colour from blue to red across the whole pH spectrum, with a green colour at neutralisation, pH 7. For the higher level exam, the IB expects students to not only predict the pH at equivalence point, but also predict the pH of salts when dissolved in water, known as salt hydrolysis. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.